I don't think there's any other field in the world that has more jargon than the IT world. And to be quite honest, DevOps is one of the biggest offenders. We just have tons of crazy terms and acronyms and words and names. But it's important to remember, DevOps makes things easier. So here's my acronym that we're going to add to the jargon list. DBS. Don't be scared. Because really, all of these terms that we have to learn and that we need to understand and use, it's to make things easier. So if you're learning a term and you think, oh, it's just not worth it, this is more work than it's going to save, I would argue you just haven't learned that technology enough because really it's going to make things easier. So once you learn it, it's the kind of thing you're like, oh, that wasn't difficult at all. And it helps that some of these words are really silly. For example, Ansible, really cool sounding word, actually comes from a science fiction concept. Uh, YAML, this, like, what does YAML mean? Well, it's an acronym, but it stands for yet another markup language, which is kind of silly, but nonetheless, that's what it is. We have Ruby. We have Python, which are just silly words. We have some that are named just so we can use metaphors when describing how they work conceptually. And I have an example just from today. I was talking to the other trainers about how to make a word cloud like this so we could look at all these crazy terms together. And one of the trainers said, oh, Sean, you could just use Power BI because that would make a word cloud for you easily. And I was like, yeah, Power BI. I had no idea what that was. And I've been in technology and IT for like over 20 years, but I didn't know what it was. I'm not a Microsoft guy. So I had to look it up and figure out what Power BI was. And now I know, and it's not intimidating. It's just, you know, Microsoft's business intelligence tool that allows you to do things like graphs and word clouds and things like that. So once you realize that these terms aren't overwhelming and understanding them is something that you can achieve, don't be scared is really easy to live by. And then it turns into don't be scared smug. Once you learn them, don't be greedy with your knowledge because the way that IT is only going to get better is if we share that knowledge. We have to be willing to not be those people who hoard information, but people who share information. Now, when it comes to terms, I do have a quick example I want to show you. Let's take two very common DevOps terms, automation and orchestration. Now, these two things, you may understand them both completely, but one is a little bit easier than the other to understand. Automation is a term you've heard outside of DevOps, and basically it just means doing a task automatically, right? So we have any given task here, and we want the computer to do it for us, so we don't have to do it manually. So this task, we're going to do that. If you do orchestration, it's basically just a bunch of automation tasks all put together into this one big ecosystem or system. It's things like you can install a server, maintain a server, update a server, install apps on a server, and spin up new servers when they're needed. All of those automations together are going to equal orchestration. So yeah, it's just a crazy cool sounding fancy word, but conceptually it's pretty easy to understand when you know what they're talking about. Once you understand the terms, you can't stop there, though, because unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at things, definitions vary and change. Have you ever heard of the cloud? Well, we heard of the cloud like 10 years ago, too, but then it was something completely different from what it means now. And in fact, even today, people are going to argue over, well, no, the cloud is this or no, the cloud is that. The cloud is a changing concept and you need to understand the components involved. So if somebody says cloud, you know mostly what they're talking about, but you're probably still going to have to have a discussion to know exactly what they mean. So if you're looking at a career in IT or specifically a career in DevOps where we just have jargon like crazy, you're going to have to learn to be a lifelong learner because when those definitions vary and change, you're going to have to be able to keep up with that conversation so that you can have an intelligent, informative conversation with people in your field about things that are going to make life a lot easier. So yes, don't be scared. These things are easy to learn. Don't be smug and keep your knowledge to yourself. But look, don't be silly either. DevOps is awesome. There's no reason not to learn it.